And this is the most basic functioning form I can uh, put together for the Arduino Modbus project. It's quite a bit of work, to be honest, with the amount of 3D printing and extra uh, components you're using, but I think it's worth it. A bit uh, slightly over-engineered by, well, I don't know, 400% by hey-ho. Um, uh, as already uh, showcased, this is the uh, enclosure for the Arduino that has the uh, real-time clock, super useful. This is extremely good uh, for this entire design because I can uncouple the uh, RX and TX pins so I can upload the code. I've already done that without taking out the Arduino. Super useful. This cable management, um, I don't know. I might replace it with uh, this type of uh, strain relief management. I don't know yet, but uh, yeah, mm, something to think about in version 3 or 4 of this. Um, the wiring here uh, looks alright, it doesn't really matter. It's going to be installed in a you know, basement or somewhere, so who really cares? So uh, what's this doing? As you're probably aware, it's controlling this uh, relay module. And uh, yeah, a normal Arduino project would be looking much messy. There'll be some loose wires dangling around and wouldn't be deployable anywhere. While this is actually presentable as well. I intentionally did not put the lids on. So you can all see the electronics if you haven't before and all the components, how it's put together. So yeah, it's working now. Uh, all is needed now is to connect to some outlets and power to control, uh, I don't know, an LED. But ideally, I want to have uh, several of those to control some uh, gardening, uh, what you call it, pumps so I can water the uh, plants and stuff automatically using the real-time clock. And potentially in the future, I'll replace the Arduino with some uh, sort of cheap um, but yet usable PLC that I'll have to learn how to program with ladder logic. I already had a look into it. So we'll see, we'll see how that goes. So I don't need anything fancy as the heart, aka brains of the entire system, but uh, Something reliable, and I'm not sure if Arduino is up for a 24-7 operation, unless I reboot it every day, every particular time, because I can with the real-time clock. Don't know, but we'll think about it, and uh, as you already know, this uh, this Ethernet cable can be like 20-30 meters, so these can be deployed in several places. I need one more of these, and yeah, I think that's it. I'm rambling. You get the general idea. And uh, it looks quite cool. I do like it. So yeah, thanks for watching.